the Format Instrument menu. There are two main menus that control the properties of a chart window in multicharts. These menus are called Format Instrument and Format Window. This video is meant to outline how to use the Format Instrument menu. To create a new chart window, we'll start by going to File, New, Chart Window. You'll see a Format Instrument menu pop up with the new chart behind it. The Format Instrument menu controls the calculated format of the displayed data series in addition to how the data appears visually. The first tab, labeled Instrument, is where you must choose which product and contract you want to plot a chart of. You'll need to first add instruments by connecting to a data source, which in my case is Rhythmic 01 as you can see here, through the Quote Manager. If you're unsure how to do this, please watch another video of mine that explains this in greater detail. The next tab first makes you choose the chart type. Choose regular if you're looking to plot a candlestick chart or a simple bar chart. Next, set the resolution by entering a numerical value and selecting the type of time increment from the drop-down menu. The quote field asks for which type of data you want displayed on the chart, ask price, bid price, or, which I prefer, the last trade price of this particular contract. Sessions will define the open and closing times of the contract that can be marked by the product's default trading hours, determined by the exchange it trades on, or whose sessions can be marked to reflect the opening and closing of another exchange, which can be changed manually. You can choose to have volume values built based on trade volume, the amount of contracts exchanging hands, or tick volume, where the frequency of price movement builds your volume column. Data range controls how much historical data is displayed on the chart, either by specific calendar dates or by a numerical value measured in the amount of bars going back historically or days going back historically. I'm going to set it to a big number like 500 bars back from today, just to make sure I get a full chart and can scroll, scroll back historically. The time zone allows you to control whether the x-axis time scale values are displayed in your local time zone or the time zone of the exchange your product is traded on. And the data number will leave here at 1 in this case. The subchart will determine the arrangement of subplotted indicators or other subplotted data series. This will also allow you to overlay each subplotted entity within the main data series. The style tab first has you define the chart type. You then choose whether you want to have a last price marker displayed on the y-axis price scale, and if you want your candle's real body to be shown with a border. It is important to note that the border color will always be equal to the wick color, which is the color of the up upper and lower extremes of each candle. Going down here is where you define the colors of your candles. An up bar is created when the close price is greater than its opens, and a down bar is created when the open price is greater than its close. When choosing the color, you can pick from the ones available, or create in-between shades by clicking on Other. The width setting can be adjusted for the wicks, but I'd suggest keeping it at its thinnest setting or the chart will be hard to see. All the way at the bottom is a checkbox labeled Use as Default. You'll see this option quite often. This will save all the settings we defined above for every new chart you open from this point on. This can be very helpful when creating many charts that you want to look alike. The next tab controls the chart's scaling properties. First select the type of scaling range and scaling type. If you want margins inserted, you define how thick you want them to be by adjusting the percentage. If screen is chosen for scaling range, the percentage determines how far from the top and bottom chart boundaries the high candle in view and low candle in view are from each other. Choosing the center last price will constantly move your chart data up and down with current price movement so that the current price is centered on the y-axis price scale. This is not something I find useful, so I will leave it as unchecked. Scale labels can be modified by defining the amount of digits displayed after the decimal point, choosing to expand the scale to subplotted indicators, choosing to overlay the scale data, or defining how many price levels you like displayed along the y-axis and by what interval. The last tab allows you to control how volume data is calculated and displayed. The volume bar step controls how many price levels or tick levels include a plotted volume measurement next to the price scale. When you've adjusted all of your settings, click OK and you should see them reflected by the chart. Please note that you can access this menu anytime from an existing chart window by right-clicking on a blank area in the chart. This concludes this video on the Format Instrument menu. Thanks for watching.